how would you characterize your singing? Uh, I, I've heard it, uh, and, and I think it's, it's amazingly big sounding, but it's also so soulful. Uh, well, thank you. I mean, you know, <clears throat> I, I care about it, but I think that the influence comes from being, you know, that 15-year-old kid sitting at the feet of the masters and realizing that there is no substitute for the depth and the roundness of tone and the feeling. And years later, when I really got going um, in the electric blues and I had a band and I had to front it, I was the singer and I had to learn. And I, I always have had trouble with my breathing and still do, but a fellow named Jim Branca, who still performs, for years he was not doing this, but he had a band called Bluesotomy, and he's a great big guy. Um, he taught me how to breathe. And that helped me to be able to follow through on the notes and get big. But I approach it the same way as I did a guitar. I learned how to phrase vocally. And, uh, you know, if I had to say there's a place where I could still tighten it up, technically, um, I tend to be a big note pusher. And uh, sometimes if I push too hard, I'll sing sharp. Rarely do I end up flat. <laughs> uh, but but it's because I'm trying to fill up with air and push that note. And depending on what the emphasis is for the word in the line of the, t of the lyric I'm singing, the note has to follow the, the lyric. And that, that's uh, what it comes from listening to a lot of people, men and women of the blues, great jazz and blues singers. And still to this day, I admire all different styles. Um, there's a way in doing vocals where you attack the front end of a line. And if you need to finish it big, you need to finish it big. And, and that's um, technically what happens. But I do connect with the lyrics, you know, I do. And uh, some of it comes out of experience, some of it comes out of, you know, with the appreciation of, I have of having grown up in a black neighborhood and had some, you know, a lot of black friends and uh, just empathizing with that. A lot of that came out of the way my parents' values were. Um, they were pretty, I guess you'd call them somewhat politically radical. I know my father was, uh, you know, civil rights marcher back in the 1930s, mm -hmm. um, a big opponent of the death penalty, you know, that kind of thing. They were real into uh, people like Paul Robeson and Marian Anderson, you know, who were politically on the edge, you know, that kind of thing. So that was the value I grew up with, and uh, I'm grateful to them for that. <laughs>